see our own DNA. And first of all, I want to introduce to you Isak, uh, Daniel, and our high volunteer, Hassan, and myself, Chongwa, who will carry out this experiment for you today. Even though a single DNA molecule is very small, 3 nanometers in width, the ones we're going to be extracting are going to be thousands of DNA molecules, which we'll eventually be able to see. The experiment is actually very simple. All you need are three beakers, bottled water, washing up liquid, food colouring, ice sprinkle alcohol, a prepared spatula and styrene oil. And you also need definitely a volunteer because we will need to extract the cheek cells and from there we'll eventually extract its DNA. So first, all we need to do is get one tablespoon of salt and dissolve it in 50 centimeter cubed of water. Then we'll transfer three tablespoons of water to another beaker. Now, um, now this stage is very important because in order to extract the sheet cells, we'll need Hassan today will be our volunteer. And today he will have to gargle this mixture of salt and water for a minute. Hassan's cheek cells become suspended in the salt water he is currently gargling. It's from those cheek cells we will eventually extract the egg from. Now, we're going to add one drop of clear washing up liquid to the mixture. And stir it with a stirring rod, trying not to create any air bubbles. As you may know, the washing up liquid is designed to break down the grease in our dirty dishes. Well, similarly, we're uh, attempting to do the same here. We're kind of here to destroy the cell membrane of Asan's cheek cells. And from there, we'll, when the cell membrane breaks down, we'll eventually have the DNA. And also, the cell membrane, is, its structure is very important as it, that structure is being broken down and also that cell membrane is made up of a type of lipid called phospholipid. When the cell membrane from the sun's cheek cells is broken down, the DNA will eventually be released into the solution. In a separate cup, we'll mix ice purple alcohol with three drops of food colouring. Now, this is probably the most important step. The alcohol mixture has to be poured at an angle of 45 degrees. This allows the alcohol form a layer over the salt water solution. After two to three minutes, we should see clumps of DNA forming at the top of the solution, as DNA is insoluble in alcohol. Now, after two to three minutes, you'll probably see these clumps, or these strands, on the top of the surface of the liquid. Um, these are made of thousands of DNA molecules, and clearly, we can't see much more than just a few strands, but it, that's because there's a limit to our to the human eye. This video was made in conjunction with Medic Aid UK and the Tiffin Anatomical Society. Thank you for watching.